Hi everybody, Martin the Flick and Feathers again today. I'm tying the solicitor. It's a nice wee wet fly, good for the wild browns, especially up the highlands and western isles of Scotland. But it will work anywhere. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get notified of the new videos. So, I've got my hook on my vise, it's a size 12 Camazan B175 and I'm just running on some Uni 8 Aught in black and I'm coming back to about the barb maybe just in front of it and then I'm going to get my tail material which is Cock hackle fibres, I'm just using an orange, dyed orange, uh, Chinese cock hackle. And this is just taken from, you know, feather up the up the back of the cape. Length, about a shank length, at the back. Or so, something like that. And I will hold it, come in, set my body length, yeah, uh -huh. and then I'll tie in my rib, which is gold wire. Um, you can use oval gold if you want. Um, up to you. I prefer the wire, I think it's a bit tougher. So, the waist end of my wire is also the length of the body, and I'm just taking the thread up, tying everything down, making a nice smooth base, right? Because it's a tinsel body, so I need to not have any bumps, right? And then I'm going to come back. All the way along. And I'll get my tinsel for my body, which is I'm just using the medium uh, uni double side it. Silver and gold. I've got to catch it and with the silver facing out. Same again, just being careful on the way up, keep your thread turns touching, keep it nice and flat. Bring the thread back to the front. Straight turn at the back and then just wind up. And you'll see, hopefully, that, I mean, I'm not really doing it and I'm just taking this around and it's just sitting exactly where I want it to. You know? The, the there's no spaces, there's none of the black thread showing through. The tinsel's no fighting me in any way. Right? And that's because of the flat underbody, right? When people have difficulty with tinsel bodies, it's always it's always, always because of the underbody that they've put on. Right, body hackle is uh, the original pattern calls for ginger. Um, I'm using a bar of ginger, which is fine. You know, it's it's, it's no. I mean, I don't even say you would say this is a variant. Although I mean, there's some folk would be telling you they've invented a new pattern. Maybe even some folk have built careers on that. Um, <coughs> And I'm stripping the leading edge, right, of the hackle, so that I've only got one side. Now, if you're not sure, the way to check is the tip. Put the hackle so the tip is pointing towards the tail, and the butt end is at the at the front. Hold it with the good side or the convex side facing you, so the curve is away, and the top 
will be the leading edge, right? Provided you wind away from yourself. If you wind towards yourself, it's obviously the other the other way. So tie that in, and then full turn at the front, and then I'll just, I'll just lift that so I don't trap it. And then I'll come down three, four turns down the body. When you get to the back, just chase it with the wire, and then keeping the wire nice and tight. Rub up through the body, get a few turns up there, come across your thread, bend the wire, lock it in, bend and break it away. If you want, you can come in and hit this with the Velcro, just to, if there are any trapped fibres, it will just free them, snap that away. And we're ready for the head hackle. And it's a furnace hen. Well, you could use like a soft, like a Chinese cock or something, it's fine as well. Um, it's getting quite hard nowadays to get well marked. Uh, well marked hen hackles, suitable for wet flies. Um, I mean, you can go down the genetic route, I suppose. But even at that, when I get in the fly show, like the selection's no brilliant. Um, and it's maybe one of each, you know, they've maybe got one or two of each colour, and you need to have a look to see how well marked they are. I mean, this, this Indian cape's not that well marked, but there's just enough black that I think it's okay, you know. Um, up to you. Right, the fish probably care less than us, I would imagine. Um, but I, I do think that dark sort of centre has a can have an effect on certain days. So let's say that. So I'm going to tie this in with the tip, and I'm going to wind it forward, just sweeping it as I go, one turn in front of the other. And this. Just check. I mean, how how heavy is up to yourself? Um, now, obviously, depending on the quality of your hackle, the number of turns will vary. When you get to the front, tie it off and then fold everything back. Build your head. That's a bit strong. That stem. So we'll just come in. We'll back off a couple of turns of thread, trim it, and then I'll put those thread turns back on to tidy that up where I've cut it. And then you can whip finish. Use the whip finish to let finalise the shape of the head. Tighten that up. Come away the waist. Now I just noticed that that hackle hasn't snapped really cleanly at the back, so we'll just come in. Take that away. That's better. I don't know if you could even see it in the camera, to be honest. And then, obviously, just to finish it off, I've got a couple of coats of varnish. One is enough, obviously, um, you know, for fishing purposes, but I always like to put the extra coat on to get that nice, uh, wee shiny, hard head. So there you go, the solicitor. Hope that you enjoyed that, hope it was useful. Um, if it was, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye!